hopefully you guys can see me. My phone is kind of screwed up. When I do the self, I have to turn my phone around to record because the sound is, is getting weird with my phone. So I don't know. I have to get it cleaned or whatnot. But so an offer has been sent by the Philadelphia Eagles to acquire Yannick Ngakwe. Okay. The Eagles um, have sent in an offer. Okay, so somebody, I'll put it up right now because I would look at my phone and kind of record it up from my computer, but I can't. But somebody tweeted out, I guess from uh, Jaguars, Beat Riders, or someone that knows in the league, is that the Eagles, uh, three other teams are in the mix for Yannick, but a lot of teams are at a pause right now. Now, the Eagles have offered a 2021 first-round pick, a mid-round pick, and Alshon Jeffrey. Just remember, guys, that Alshon Jeffrey, if he gets traded... The Eagles, because honestly, they just want to dump Alshon. And honestly, the Jaguars know they just want to dump him over in Jacksonville. But Jacksonville wants those picks. Jacksonville has 14 picks in the NFL draft this year. Okay? You know you're going to pay a first-round pick for him. I said to myself a couple days ago, I said, what if they gave a first-round pick for, uh, for Yannick in 2021? You know what I mean? Instead of this year, of course. You know, they already have 14 picks this year. You know what I mean? They're not going to use every single draft pick this year. I highly doubt it. Um, so the Eagles offered a first round for 2021, a mid round pick, um, and Alshon Jeffrey. I think that's a pretty good deal to me. I, I would go get him with that because honestly, next year is next year, but I think Howie will work, you know, the cap. Um, so th there was an update to that tweet by the same gentleman. And he said that, um, the Eagles, uh, Howie Roseman wants to offset some money in this deal. So he kind of does, he kind of wants to move some money around with the CBA being approved. I don't know if you could move tagged franchise tag players uh, around with, with money. I don't, I, they, you know, I don't know what, you know, how he's trying to work some money somehow towards this and move some money around. So with the CBA approved, I don't know what difference he, he could make with it. So I'm not really sure at all. But what it looks like to me is that there are a few other teams that are kind of paused right now. The Eagles are probably the only – it looks like the, the Eagles are pretty much the only team that's going to give up a lot for Yannick. And this could happen. If you add Yannick to this defensive line, we're pretty much set. I think we're set now. You know what I mean? And you've got Jannard Avery on a big – you know, hopefully doing a comeback year this year. Derek Barnett needs to step up. Brandon Graham is fine. You know, you have Malik Jackson back there. Hassan Ridgeway. You just got Javon Hargrave uh, and free, made him, you know, the sixth best, highest paid defensive tackle in the league. And you have Fletcher Cox right, right next to him. So you add Yannick to this group. You know what? They could be Annie Yannick and saying, you know what? We, they don't know. Derek Barnett will probably be off this team. If they get Yannick, Derek Barnett is going to be gone probably by probably by next year. I mean, obviously after this year, he'll he could probably they they probably won't pay him after this year. Um, so we'll see what happens. But at the same time, it's a very intriguing trade, and how he's trying to offset some money right now. In other news, Clay Matthews, linebacker, has been released by the Rams. I know it's not a sexy pickup, but we're not, we're not, you know, we need to bring somebody in, okay? You know for a fact the Eagles are not training for a linebacker. Not going to happen at all. So what I'm expecting the Eagles to do is wait and wait and wait and try to get someone for real cheap, okay? You bring a, at least a veteran guy in. We're going to see what, uh, t you know, we're going to see what TJ Edwards does. Apparently the coaches are very happy with his progress. We're going to see what, you know, Nathan Gary is coming off injury, but play with an injury. And played actually didn't play that bad with injury last year, okay? Got his chance to start and he rolled with it and kind of didn't uh kind of hit his injury for a while um but i'm expecting him to draft a linebacker this year to at least bring somebody in for some competition undrafted guys i'll be in here as well so as of right now the, how he is definitely 97 percent serious about getting yannick ngakwe so we'll see what happens leave a comment in the comment section below what you guys think and i will see you guys later shake squad up fly let's fly